Let's see now what you have to do to build the cross on the top of the cube, which is the first part of the Friedrich method. Choose one color, in this case the orange, and then uh, let's search for the edge to be placed. The first edge we can uh, place is the orange-white. In most cases, we just have to match the other color, for the other color, in this case I mean the white one, other than the one we, we choose, and then match the orange. So, let's match the white. So, this corner has to be moved from here to here. You can see orange, white. So, I match the white, one rotation, and now I match the orange. Another one rotation, just two rotation of the cube and the first edge is down. Now we have the orange blue here and the blue is here. So the edge has to be moved here. In this case it's easier to match first the orange and then the blue. And so this edge has to be moved from here to here. In this case it's easier to match first the orange and then the blue. So I just have to change this edge with this edge. So I just have to make one rotation of the top of the cube, change this edge with this edge, matching the orange and then turn the top of the cube back. So I have the, the white and the blue. Now we have the orange uh, yellow. The yellow is here so this edge has to be moved from here to here. In this case I first match the orange, uh, sorry, the yellow. I first match the yellow and then I match the orange. Very few rotation of the cube. Now only one edge is missing. The green is already matched, so I just have to match the orange. And the cross on the top of the cube is done. Another example for building the cross on the top of the cube. Starting always with our orange, we have to place this first edge, the orange-blue, from here to here. In this case it's easier to match first the orange and then the blue. So I match the orange and I match the blue. The first edge is now done. Now we have the orange-white, which has to be moved from here to here. Now I can first match the white and then match the orange. But now I have to remember to rebuild the cube with our first edge. Now we have the orange uh, yellow which has to be moved from here to here. In this case we have to match the yellow first and then match the orange, remembering to rebuild the cube with the blue. Only one edge is missing. The edge is here. So, uh, in this case we, we can do something like this. We have to match the green and then match the orange and the cross is done. Another situation here, so for this edge the white one is already matched so we just have to match the orange and the first edge is done. Then we have the orange yellow, the yellow is here so the edge is to be placed here. So we have to match 
first the yellow and then the orange. Then we have the orange green which has to be moved from here to here. We can do something like this, we can do match the green to rotation of the cube and then match the orange. Remember to rebuild the cube with the yellow. Now only one edge is missing. The edge is here. So uh, the orange blue has to be moved from here to here. We can match first the orange now, making one turn of the top of the cube. Replace this edge with this edge matching the orange and now we can turn the top of the cube this way so we have the white, the blue and the yellow and the green and the cross on the, the, cross on the top of the cube is done. In this particular case we have to invert each other these two edges. The green has to be moved from here to here and the yellow from here to here. So in this way, so in this case we can do something like this. We can bring this edge down on the second level of the cube and then match the green one. Now we can move this edge, the yellow-orange, on the top of the cube and match the orange. Now we can match the orange with the other edge. In this particular case we have to invert each other these two edges. The green has to be moved from here to here and the yellow from here to here. So in this way so in this case we can do something like this. We can bring this edge down on the second level of the cube and then match the green one. Now we can move this edge, the yellow orange, on the top of the cube and match the orange. Now we can match the orange with the other edge. And this is the speed you should get after practicing. Another situation here. So this is the first edge. I match the blue and then I match the orange. Then I have the orange green which has to be moved here because we have the green here. So I match the green first and then the orange. Now the yellow is already matched so I, had, I just have to match the orange. One is missing so uh, this is the, the missing edge. I can do something, I can match uh, the orange or uh, the white. If we want to match the orange first we can do two turning of the top of the cube, replace this edge with this edge and then match the white and all the other edge are done. The cube is scrambled again. We have this edge, the orange white, which has to be moved from here to here. So I can bring the edge here 
match the white and then match the orange then we have the orange green which is already matched I just have to match the orange then we have the orange blue I match the blue first and then the orange very few turning of the cube as you can see and then we have uh, the orange yellow which is already matched I just have to match the orange and the cross on the top of the cube is done